Good morning. No, good afternoon. We are along the Smilkameen River here. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It's like plus 17 degrees Celsius. It's a beautiful day. The river just sounds so beautiful. That's what our load looks like. Let's climb up there without wiping out. And take a look at it. How's Jess doing? I could just sit here for a long time and listen to this. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This would be a spot to sleep for a night sometime. Yeah. Unfortunately, we never run out of time over here. No. So, two pickups. The first pickup is all these cheats of metal, steel. Total of 21 different different thickness and different size plates. And then the second pickup is stones. And you can see it's just broken stones for, for decoration. Not that heavy actually. But like Jess says, you could probably sit here for the rest of the day and I'd be quite content. Just sitting along the river. Yeah. Yeah. I... I would rather sit here for a few hours and deliver this load tomorrow morning. Someday, someday, we'll be able to stop and enjoy the beautiful weather. For now, let's put you guys up on the mirror and hammer down. Where's my withers? That's just an empty wrapper. <laughs> just, she's funny. <laughs> yeah, you threw away my garbage for me. <laughs> it worked. It did work. It did work. So we are in Manning Park, Smilkameen River. Beautiful, gorgeous day. Thank you. No, not. How am I supposed to eat that? Not my problem. <laughs> hey. Beautiful blue sky. A well, little clouds, but. We're a heavy load, but not like max weight load. We have no worries about max weight here, but it should be a decent climb up uh, Sunday Summit over here. What were you going to say? I think sadly after today is going to cool off though. Today is... A cold front is coming through? Yeah. Today's a nice day, but the rest of the week I think we're going back to winter. Actually says it's 18.5 degrees Celsius right now. Get close to zero again, right? By the by the weekend. I haven't well, looked in a few days, but it was like five or six degrees. Yeah. I remember. So yeah, we're at the east end of uh, Manning Park here. 
exiting East Gate. the corner was that tight. year I guess it is low. For this time of year that river is very low. All the snow is going to have melted before we even get the rains in April. If we get the rain. It will be interesting. Flooding just not going to be a thing this year unless we get flash floods with a lot of rain. Is great news, no flooding, but does mean forest fires. Quebec is already fighting a couple of forest fires. Or was that Ontario? I mean, Quebec had one, but like even in the Pernagan, we have bush fires. Yeah, we've already. had a couple of small ones here already, too. I don't show this one very often because usually the timing doesn't work out. Today, today the timing will work out. And I've been trying to shoot video in a different area than I normally do. Just shooting the same highway over and over. It might not be getting boring for you guys, but it's getting boring for me. East Gate of Manning Park. What was that? Okay. Like something broke. No, it's just Jess making noises. The bear statue on the other side there. Bear carving. It's not really a statue, just a wood carving. I haven't seen bears yet, but we know they're awake. Some are elk yesterday. To Princeton, right? Yep. So, in this area, all at the top of the hill. Too rough to go down. Exactly. 
so you're gonna have to drop me off and then go further south and pick me up. Mm -hmm. And then I'll tell you if it's safe for you to come down. And the next time you have to come down, if I said it's safe for you. I don't like river kayaking. River kayaking is so much fun though. Either too shallow or too fast. Lake, lake kayaking is really chill, relaxing, but boring compared to river kayaking. Okay, kayaking. That was down a river. That, that was decent until I hurt myself. Because it was too fast. <laughs> well, we had some rapids on that one. We picked up uh, the first half of the load on Ennis's Island. The second half we picked up in Langway. And we're delivering in the Kootenays, South Spokane and Melton. the right call. What's that? We're oh, supposed to reversing switch. the loads, yeah. yeah. Originally I was supposed to load Langley first and then Annika's Island. Anison's Island. Anison's and Anison's, right? Yeah. Okay, Anison's Island. Um, but I switched the loads around. I'm like looking at the weight and the size from what they're saying it should be, I think and, and miles traveled, it makes just more sense this way. And it's the right call. The boss just says, you do you. I'm like, okay. The reason why I had him the other order was because I'm dropping the front trailer first. Or I'm dropping the steel first and then the rocks. He was concerned about the drop order. It would make more sense have the rocks on the front but weight wise it makes a lot more sense this way those rocks are not that heavy so I got the rocks loaded at the front of the pup that way when all the steel disappears off the front trailer and I have to drive from so slow can to Nelson I'm still legal because I've got most of that weight actually sitting on the front trailer because it's at the front of the front of the back trailer most of the weight is actually sitting on the front trailer making making the load fairly balanced and stable. If you would have all the weight on the back of the pup it would make the setup very unstable and want to um, every now and then you see like a pickup truck towing a camper and the camper just kind of weaving back and forth that is the weight balance is wrong. The trailer doesn't want to track with the with the towing vehicle. So legally, actually, the back trailer can only be a certain percentage heavier than the front trailer. It has to be within 40% or something like that, I can't remember, but we, we won't be close to any of those because the way I loaded it, our, our drives are going to be very light. It'll be empty. Our drives will be empty, but most of the weight will be on the center of the trailer, so it'll be a nice, smooth, stable load even with the front trailer off.
switch back and then the hard climb starts. mini got his top down everybody thinks it's summer fair enough it, it feels like summer it feels like, like spring. spring anyway but on the downside tomorrow we're gonna say otherwise hopefully you're wrong I hope I'm wrong.
Limited Company. Friend anywhere. 
burning all those trees I think will bring more moose and elk and deer to the area because you can get a lot more grasslands and meadows yeah. because the yeah. trees are all burned right said that this highway used to be a small little tight little highway with corners all over not that many years ago and they did boost the speed limit up to 100 over here but then dropped it back down to 80. Due to too many accidents. What's well, one of those you put the speed limit, but you want people to just go over it, right? Yeah. So. Like I'm doing 80, and that big rig behind me is catching up. Like they're doing 100. Yeah, cops like this area a lot. They do. Look 
pretty fresh, fresh black lines. go to some lumber mill and have a load that's going to Manitoba or Ontario or something, right? Hopefully we get one of those soon. Oh, 
Yeah. It would be perfect for your friend. That's why Lou's going up copper right now. Pull in here, do a brake check, and we'll go down Mine Hill and call it a day.
why I started at the top of the hill at 60 kilometers an hour. I knew I didn't needed to be at 60 kilometers an hour at the bottom here. Big new for sale sign there. That's interesting to me. Is that? It's basically like a hunting club. Oh, really? I mean, it's part of a legal battle. I wonder if it's a forced sale to cover the lawsuit. Definitely. I didn't know that. And if you read the forced sale sign, it tells you there's like five cabins. It was like it's it's a huge like hunting outfitters club type of area. Help but wonder if it's part of a lawsuit. Switch back. It's the last one actually. Oh, for a little bit. No. Yes. Last one till after Soyuz. Exactly. Not the last one. The last one on this pass for sure. Okay. Just just trying to be a troublemaker. Yep. <laughs>
spray painted what? The dip or whatever is spray painted. Well, let's go spray paint the dip. I'm like, what are you talking about? What else would I be spray painting? I don't know. We were just driving by Billy's restaurant. I'm like, why would you spray paint Billy's restaurant sign? Doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. That's why I was confused. People put clean me and cars just put fix me on the road. Yeah. I would graffiti some other symbols too. Well, I was trying to keep it nice and clean and not admit to things I may do. Now they know who's done it. There's quite a few people traveling back from the Easter weekend. Yeah, yeah, there's still heavier travel than tra tra traffic than normal, but it got pretty bad yesterday getting into the city, but we were still moving the whole time. And I forgot to, I mean, we did stop a couple times, but. It wasn't like you weren't moving for hours. Yeah. It, it was just here and there. half a tank of fuel. Maybe I'll fuel up at Midway. I haven't fueled up there yet. Do you have a backup plan? Uh, Castle Guard. Okay. A little out of the way in Castle Guard, but that would be the backup plan. And that is... We're all five hours away, and we have at half a tank, we have six hours of fuel.
so hard, aren't I? Well, I would. Would you rather uh, sleep tonight or Dairy Queen now? On a fairly tight schedule. Choose two of my favorite things and make me pick between them. <laughs> you gotta pick between sleep and ice cream. See, little do you know, I know we're coming back this way. We are. And I'll show you this is a very easy place to pull over and get there anyway. Mm -hmm. See, so nice. Now we know our next load already. It's like. Yeah. Love that thing, that part of trap line. We already know what we're loading. Vancouver though basically. <laughs> Thursday. Oh, yeah, they do. Let me 
reload over there somewhere to go home. Yep. Well, if we deliver Thursday, we might deliver in Kelowna and then get a reload still on Friday. Yeah, that's possible too. So we may, we may still have a couple more. We have one or two more loads to deliver after this one this week, so yeah, we'll see. Shoot! Um, yeah, we should be all out of here. <laughs> we just got into the zone. Nice long Tuesday video. I think we got to end it all with this too. Yeah, I have to make the map. Okay, we're going to end it here then. Okay. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate all the support. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. We'll see you guys tomorrow with a wide load. You guys rock. Adios.